Hello, it's Glitchy Enderman Gaming here with another gaming video. Well, today I'm going to do a product review on the R2D2 uh, robot. So today you're going to be facing at the floor. Oh, I just remembered I got to get something out of my closet because I'm going to be moved over here. But uh, we're going to check out this R2D2 uh, toy that I picked up at Walmart. It's actually pretty expensive. Um, and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. Um, if you guys haven't seen the informational video on how R2-D2 works, go check it out. It's in my channel, it's the most recent one. But uh, I talked about today about showing you this R2-D2. And it is pretty cool, it's got a bunch of modes, and we're just going to jump right into it. So you guys have like a really tall version. So what, what you do right away, well, before we get started on the bot, what you do, here's the box. This box, all its features are on the side here. So what it is, is it's app controlled movement in all directions. You can it's send on different missions. You can send it on different missions. You can, it talks and explores on its own. That's if you do not have a receiver. You can actually let it go on its own. And it plays to da and dances to music. That's true. I've tried that already. And it guards your room. If you put it in a quiet place in your room, it'll go off like an alarm pretty cool. I'm not going to show you all that today. Today's video is just to show you guys the RC function of it because I think that's the coolest part. So, uh, and then there's different modes. There's a knob on R2-D2 that you can switch to 1, 2, or 3. The first mode is, I think, what is it, like regular mode where you control it with the RC location. So we're going to switch that on. I think it's this way. Okay, so that's, wait, hold on. There, it was switched on to three for some reason. Here we go. And what it's gonna do is gonna go beeping in about two seconds. It's gonna search for a signal. Ready? It's gonna search for the app. And there's an app. Now it's on its own. So uh, I'll show you guys. There's an app that you have to download when you get this RC toy. It's actually gonna hit the tripod if it don't knock it off. Right now it's in its own own mode. I'm actually opening the app right now, and you have to have Bluetooth on your Apple device or your Android device to drive this thing. It's running into the tripod. Alright, I'm connected to the toy now. So here's what the interface for R2-D2 looks like. So I don't know if you can see that, but it has R2-D2 on the side. You have Drive, Missions, Programming, or Gallery. And... Uh, Missions, you um, you can do all these things. You unlock them as you go, and you do these missions, and you program R two D two to do stuff, and that's the interface for the missions. The next, what we have here is that we have the program. Well, well programming and missions are pretty much the same. Programming, you can program your own R two D two, and gallery. You guys can see if I click on somebody. If I click on somebody, Princess Leia. Now, if I click on BB eight. He responds to a message supposedly virtually from BT8. So if I click BB8, he'll respond to it. <laughs> See, as such, and then he's there's like Cerepio and other stuff. Now, the main aspect. So here is the drive train. Now, I don't know how I'm going to show you this, but uh, I'm going to try to show you. So there's forward. So he moves forward, back, and then turn to right, turn to left. And then the best feature, I think this is the coolest part, is it talks and moves its head. This icon turns its head to the left, and you can turn it all the way to the left. That's all the way. And then all the way to the right. And then we'll go down the list of features at the moment that I have. You can unlock more while you progress your R2-D2. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And this is the music one in here. Okay, I'll bring them back in here. 
Okay, so that was the music one. Here's the love one. And uh, on each of these single ones, there's multiple things that he says. So, say I click the love one again, he will make different noises. I think there's like three on each, but I'm not going to keep clicking and going through all of them. This is just a short video to sh show you guys what how cool this toy is. And then the last one. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The R2-D2 toy is really cool. Um... These I saw online and they're getting more and more expensive. This guy weighs like a ton. Like literally this is like the heaviest toy I've seen ever produced. And it weighs like, it feels like there's like a brick inside this. It's that, that heavy. It's like I'm holding a brick right now. And in retrospect, I think you guys should pick yourself one up. They're really cool. It's your own portable R2-D2. Or you could do what I want to do someday and is build your own R2-D2 or robot. I have attempted to make one. But uh, it was a really huge failure. It was supposed to walk. But uh, you know, projects, they got a, some of them were failures. And one of my projects was a failure back in the day. And I quit on that. But that's for another day, another video. That is the R2-D2 toy in a nutshell. It has a bunch of different modes. Guard mode and all that jazz. But that's pretty much it for this R2-D2 toy. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. And see, it, it it shuts off. I think it. Oh, now it's looking for a signal because my phone just shut off. It disconnected. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's R2D2 in a nutshell. If you guys want to find out more information, there's videos all over the internet, more explanation of this toy. Right now, it's on its own. It's we see it's responding to my voice. You can talk to it while it's in regular mode. So so watch this. Hi R2. See? Responds. So, that's pretty cool. I'm going to let him do whatever he wants. I'm going to outro the video. So he can do whatever he wants in my room. He's probably just... And he just ran into my chair. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys. You guys are huge Star Wars fans. Go pick your ones. Some, they're hard to find a little bit. But uh, mine were on sale, as mentioned in the beginning. That's pretty much it. Go pick yourself up an R2-D2. If you love R2-D2, I love them to pieces. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next game video on Saturday. And thanks for watching.